How are you my internet family? Hope you're doing wonderfully. I'm not really because it's kind of raining outside so I thought I would do a video and one of the most requested things I get is a updated everyday makeup routine like tutorial but I don't want to call this a tutorial because we all know by now I am not a professional. I just do the stuff to the face and I've kind of learned what I personally like through a lot of trial and error. I trial makeup products all the time and then when I find something that I really like I always want to share it with you guys and again I know I'm not like a professional tutorial maker but whenever I do makeup videos you guys really really like them. I love changing things up as the seasons change throughout the year and now that we're in autumn I have been going with this kind of this kind of face. So I'll start right at the beginning when I've cleansed my face and applied, you know, my SPF and my moisturizer. I hope you enjoy this and learn about some new products. So let's get on with the video. I always start off by tying my hair up or just getting it back off my face. And I guess because I had acne, I still have a bit of a complex about my skin. So I usually begin using some concealer under my eyes and on any red marks. And for my foundation, I've actually been really enjoying this new one by Rimmel, their Fresher Skin Foundation. It's super cheap and comes in loads of shades. So I can actually mix and match a couple of shades to find my exact color, which is great for me. Being such a pale girl it's really hard for me to find makeup that actually matches my skin tone this makeup has got an SPF of 15 to protect your skin from them harmful rays it has a really lightweight texture and as you guys probably know I've been embracing kind of more barely there feeling makeups as of late and although it has a dewy look about it as you'll notice it has oil absorbing minerals in there to keep your face shine free. There's like aloe and chamomile and sea algae and stuff as well to help with the appearance of redness. So I can have a nice unified complexion and the best thing is that this doesn't clog pores. I love applying this with my Real Techniques buffing brush, it's just the bestest way. I'll pop on some blush now that my skin is feeling nice and comfortable. I'm a big fan of pink cream blushes because they just have that really nice natural glowy look. So quick and easy to pop on as well and then just blend out with a sponge. I'll then always pop on a powder. I'll often use translucent but today I'm using Peach Glow by Rimmel. And then okay, a lot of people will say that if you've had acne and you have lots of scars left and stuff that you shouldn't use a highlight, but screw those people because I like using highlighter. It's gonna happen. I'll use a touch of the Body Shop's Honey Bronzer. I use their Fair Matte Shade just for a little bit more of a glow. For my eyes, and I'm going for a pretty full-on eye look, I like starting off with a cool lilac longwear cream shadow by Bobbi Brown. This provides a nice base and brings out the green in my eyes. And then I'm also working this gorgeous terracotta shade by Laura Mercier into my crease. And I had to practice so much at doing this when I first started and I still don't do it right and I don't care. I use the 223 brush by Zoeva to take that on to my bottom lash line as well. I line my waterline with Teddy by MAC which is a lovely brown pencil and MAC's Black Track Fluid Line Liner is great if you are kind of bad at doing a cat eye. Their 210 brush is really easy to work with. It's pretty much foolproof guys because if I can do it then you definitely can. I think that looks really striking and then I'll blend out the eyeshadow a little bit more, apply a little bit of mascara and you guys already know that I love Benefits Roller Lash and I always will. And then I've got to tackle the eyebrows because I just haven't been blessed with nice big bushy thick eyebrows unfortunately. Again it just takes a little bit of practice and then I always will fling through some brow gel to set them in place and fluff them up. After doing the same to the other eye I'm gonna go in with my lipstick. This is my combo right here, this is my combo. First is a Smashbox liquid lipstick called Stepping Out, which I featured in a favourites ages ago and I still love. Then on top I like to pop on Penelope Pink by Charlotte Tilbury, my favourite nude lipstick of all time. And 
and so this is the finished look um i hope you guys liked this if you did give it a little thumbs up uh i think i'm going to do an updated skincare routine video soon as well so updating all of that old shiz because that stuff's a couple of years old and we need to get with the time thank you so much for watching and i will see you again in another video real soon bye